All right, hello all you SL Marvelous Designer users. I'm bringing you this little video to demonstrate what the bounding volumes are and the arrangement points and how we can use them to our benefit. And I'm gonna show you uh, two different ways that you can make use of them, uh, or two different ways you can bring them into your Marvelous Designer. Unfortunately, Marvelous Designer does not make these automatically for the SL avatar. Um, if you're going to be making these on your own at some point, something that you should know that's going to be different about mine than yours is that when I exported the OBJ from Blender for Marvelous Designer, I rotated it and applied that rotation first. Otherwise, <clears throat> if you don't do that, it will come into Marvelous Designer sideways and the actual pattern that you see in this pattern window will of course be sideways, making it a little more difficult to use it as a um, piece or, or a tool to make your pattern. So let me show you first what arrangement points and bounding volumes are actually for, or one of the most common reasons we use them. I'm going to go to File and Import an OBJ, and I'm going to be bringing in the female default OBJ. And it is not letting me bring it in. I think I hit export. Import OBJ. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was hitting the wrong one. Um, when you go to bring it in, you get this load OBJ um, dialog box. We want to load it as an avatar. Uh, that's great. Uh, if you want to use it as a scene or a garment, of course, you do something else. Uh, but we need to change the scaling here. We need to change it to the meters. So this is in direct um, uh, relationship to uh, SL and to uh, blendering for our avatar. So I will go then go ahead and click OK, and you'll see my avatar appear here. Now, when we make things like belts or pants or sleeves or anything that has to curve around the body, uh, sometimes working with it, the simulation from a flat piece doesn't always work because the ends of these pieces start to gather before the fabric actually has time to form around the avatar. Let me show an example of where that can happen. I'm going to go ahead in here and I will create this very very fancy belt. <laughs> so there it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my little sewing machine, segment sewing, to sew the ends of it. And when I hit my sync button, of course, here it pops into the window. Now, this is great. Um, you can see that the threads are done. It's a nice size. I put it here. And the issue is, is if I simulate it, watch what happens it falls straight to the ground. It's sewn itself together, but the fact is, is it started falling in the simulation as it was gathering uh, end to end. It didn't make it in time. It fell first. So let me turn off my simulation and let me hit my uh, reset arrangement there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull in a bounding volume and arrangement points. And as you can see, nothing happens. This is where you would pull them up if you were working with Marvelous Designer Avatar, but like I said, Marvelous Designer doesn't make these for our Second Life um, uh, OBJs, so we have to bring these in ourselves. Um, that's what those files are for, but before I do the files, let me show you um, how I did it. I went and saved some and made some before, and now I can go here to Arrangement Points and open them up. I can go to here to open the BV, and I can open that up as well. And you don't see anything yet. I do have to go and hover this avatar after loading them, and then click on them to show them. So the bounding volumes are actually the green cylinder shapes. And what these are for, they are telling your uh, fabric uh, this is going to be the way that you want your fabric to bend. So your uh, pattern piece is going to kind of snap to the bounding volume and take on the shape of it. So if you have a belt here and you snap it to, it will snap around the waist. Whoops. Uh, you can do it for an arm, around the head, around the legs, anywhere you want. It's just a, um, a, the shape that goes around there. Oh, that almost sounds confusing. <laughs> 
Okay, now how do we make this work? <clears throat> because as you can see, it's not really doing anything. Um, that's where the arrangement points come in handy. Now this one is inside, so I'm not going to mess with that one at this moment. I'll use the one down here. These arrangement points, the very center of them, will attract the very center of the pattern piece. So if I click on a pattern piece, and then click on an arrangement point, <clears throat> let me pick this one here, and I click the other piece instead. So then you click on the arrangement point, and do you see that the very center of this pattern piece snapped to this arrangement point? And this is great. Um, it's starting to get, it, it's got its shape, um, <clears throat> but it's still a little off for us. Uh, you can see that the threads are actually going through the avatar here. So chances are that even this isn't an actual perfect setup for this one, but uh, all we have to do is just simply maybe pull this up a little and push it in. And now when we simulate it, let me, let me cam out here and simulate it, you can see that when I turn these off, that it is formed perfectly where I wanted it to on the first try. No tugging and pulling and lifting it off the ground and trying to get it where it needs to go. Uh, no using pins for something like this, so it's really handy. Now, the thing is, is that Marvelous Designer, like I've said 10 times, doesn't have these for the SL avatar. So I put together some files. The first ones that I put together are actually projects. Now, if you try to do this project on a version um, before this one or possibly after this one, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's after this one uh, or even uh, a different licensing. You know, we've got the enterprise, you've got the virtual, you've got the personal, you've got the different types of uh, licensing. Even those can be different um, as far as passing files from one to the other. So the first choice we have, and this might not work for you, but the first choice we have are projects. So if I go ahead and delete my avatar, go to File, Open, and Project. I don't want to save this one. I'm going to bring in the female default project. And actually, let me show you here. Female default right there. And here she comes in. And I've already packed her with the actual bounding volumes and arrangement points. So that's all done. I've actually done this for all five standard sizes for the female, standard sizes for the male, and the default size for both female and male. That's our first choice of getting these um, in here. Um, if you try to do this and bring in a new piece of garment, um, or open a piece of garment, um, it actually might crash your Marvelous Designer, so it might not be the best choice for you. In that case, we have one more choice, and so I put together some uh, folders that you can put into your library. So if I come here to this library button, and I have either garment, I can go to the avatar here. So here's the avatar, right? And if I go to this um, plus button, and you can see that, I think this is the one. Nope, give me one second to find it. Okay, so here it is. After I hit the plus button, I get a browser uh, to open up this folder. And um, I can take it and choose the female default and click select folder. And you're gonna see now that I have female default here. I can go to plus again. So plus again and try female large, select folder, and there it is. Uh, I can do this, whoops, over and over again for all 12 of the shapes or sizes or files. And now all I have to do is go ahead and double click on this. And it's taking a moment. Come on, don't make me a liar. Oh, actually, when you click on this, <laughs> um, it shows up down here. So this is a folder we want. You can see here. And these are the things in the folder. Sorry about that. So I'll click on female OBJ. And, of course, I need to set it to M here. Click on uh, the arrangement points. Double click on the pan file. And now when I go here, they are all set. 
I can close this up, so clear the avatar, and now female large. Double click on the OBJ, set it to M, and OK. Double click the female uh, arrangement, and the pan, and now I have this, and this. So, you have um, an easy way to have arrangement points with your SL shapes, all 12 of them. Um, I hope you enjoy it, uh, and I hope that it makes your marvelous designing just a little bit easier. Bye, everyone.